Powering the array of presets in the preset browser is Jamster to Creator's customizable, extremely capable digital synthesizer slash rompler. You can edit any preset in Jamstick Creator or make your own from scratch. When an oscillator instrument is selected, the controls window appears. You can change the wave shape with all the usual suspects. Voicing options include polyphonic and monophonic. And let's test out this portamento knob while we're in monophonic. As well as monophonic channels, which is handy when using a Jamstick MIDI guitar so that MIDI information in certain settings like Portamento can be sent on a per-string basis. Transposition options include perfect semitones, coarse semitones, and fine adjustments up to a semitone. Velocity scale allows you to limit or expand the range of velocity values. In effect, this can almost act like an absolutely transparent compressor. Oscillators can stack up to 30 voices of unison, detune, and control over the stereo width of voices, as well as the option to reset the phase of those unison voices to avoid any phase cancellation. There is also pan control over the selected instrument and a gain slider. A custom envelope can be applied to each oscillator instrument. Tweaking the decay, sustain, and release knobs allow you to shift between short plucky sounds or long washy pads. Expression volume mod enables oscillator envelopes to follow the string decay of jamstick MIDI guitars. This helps to tightly sync and emulate the nuances associated with guitars like palm mute and legato. Curve affects how quickly the envelope moves through the different stages. This effect can be subtle, but it's an interesting one and can help add that little extra spice to your sound. Moving to the filter, here you'll find, again, all the usual suspects, with the addition of note mod and selectable filter types, as well as 12 to 96 decibel per octave slopes. We also have access to an expandable bank of sampled sounds. These range from classic synthesizers and acoustic instruments to vocals and sound effects. When a sampler instrument is selected in the instrument panel, the sampler controls window appears. Once you've selected a sampler instrument, you can change transposition as well as apply a custom envelope. In the assignable controls window, we can modulate parameters with knobs, shapes, envelopes, and MIDI messages. By dragging and dropping LFO1 to the fine transposition of our oscillator instrument, we can link them together. Fine-tune the movement of the LFO by switching to the Controls tab. An interesting trick that we can do with our LFO is to use a noise shape and engage the sample and hold function. The noise shape introduces random values and sample and hold will essentially pause at different points along that random path. With a little bit of tweaking, this can start to sound like tape degradation. ADSR parameters are assigned the same way. 
You can process your sound with 10 guitar pedal style effects. Selecting an effect from the panel will open its control window. Each effect will have different parameters available and most of which are capable of being modulated by devices from the assignable controls window. MSEG stands for Multi-Segment Envelope Generator. Like ADSR and LFO parameters, MSEG can be assigned by dragging and dropping to your desired location. In practice, this allows us to draw custom shapes we can assign as modulators. Macros are knobs that can control multiple parameters. For example, maybe you want to have a dry version and a wet version of your preset. By assigning a macro to the output mix of your desired effect, you can quickly control how much of those effects are being applied. Macros can also be assigned to modulators by dragging the assignment bar downward. Macros for saved presets can be accessed in the preset browser and can be assigned to MIDI CC controllers in the Jamstick Creator settings page. You can then save your presets to the user library or export it to a separate location to send to collaborators or continue to edit later.